be long. I know you all want to hear more fashion tips from Coach Kelly, Coach Savetti. Uh, it was a typical uh, defensive struggle last week with us, 56-32. About 1,200 yards of offense. Uh, middle of the second quarter, I turned to John Garner from the Cape Cod Times and said, this is like watching a pinball machine. This, the ball's over here and over here, and all over the place. And he actually used that as his lead in uh, the game story on uh, Sunday. Uh, we had a great, uh, great crowd for homecoming. Uh, 56 points is the second highest total in school history, which 57 was set against Fitchburg in 2009. Uh, Mike Stanton, our junior quarterback out of uh, North Quincy High School, uh, was the North, uh, New England Football Conference Offensive Player of the Week for the second time in four weeks. In about a little less than three quarters of play, he uh, completed 27 of 42 for 317 yards and three touchdowns. And not to be outdone, our uh, backup quarterback, John Trudell, is a sophomore out of Niantic, Connecticut, uh, went 9 for 10, and his only uh, incompletion was an interception in the end zone uh, for 131 yards and three scores. So when you have your quarterbacks combined for 556 all-purpose yards and eight touchdowns, you're uh, going to have a pretty good day. Um, right now, we're ranked third in the country in Division Three in total offense, and we're about 100 yards clear of the next best team in the, in the NEFC. Uh, we're averaging about 537 yards of total offense a game. Uh, we put up 686 on uh, Saturday, which is the second only to the 695 we had against Coast Guard um, uh, back in September. Um, talk about standing stats, but uh, we have the top two uh, receivers in the New England Football Conference right now. Keith Caruso is a junior out of Hingham, uh, leads the conference with 104 receiving yards per game, and E.J. Bennett, who's a sophomore out of Wareham High School, is averaging about 100. Keith is actually ranked uh, uh, 19th in the country in receiving yards and 18th in uh, receptions per game. So uh, we had six different receivers catch touchdowns on uh, Saturday. So we're uh, spreading the ball around uh, very well. Uh, Nick Bezerkowitz, who's one of our senior co-captains from Attleboro High School, uh, was on the NEFC defensive honor roll, 11 uh, solo tackles uh, to go with the breakup in a hurry. And Brandon Rodriguez, who's our kicker, plays kicker from Brockton High School, uh, set the score record with eight PATs. He hit them all on uh, Saturday, so he's having a good year in the kicking game. Uh, it's appropriate that Coach DeLong is here this week because we are going to Maine Maritime uh, to play against the triple offense of the Mariners. Uh, last year, uh, we retook the Admirals Cup for the first time since 2003. Uh, Main Maritime, uh, it doesn't matter what their record is. When you're playing the Admirals Cup, it doesn't matter if one team's 6-0 or 0-6. It doesn't matter. Uh, Coach McKenney will have that team ready to go. They have one of the top defensive players uh, in the conference and has been throughout his career, Brock Lawrence. He's an outstanding linebacker. Um, they have some young, skilled players, but we know that they're going to run the ball. They lead the conference once again in rushing. So it'll be an uh, interesting tenth, uh, test uh, for a passing offense against a rushing offense. So. Hopefully we can uh, take the uh, cup. I'm sure we're running to Springfield somewhere on your way to Canton as we're going to Castine. So uh, good luck to everybody. Congratulations to the Gold Helmet winners and good luck this week.